all experienced a time. When another driver has jumped into an open parking spot that we were eyeing, well, for those with disabilities, it's more common occurrence than you may think. New tonight, six is on your side as Marla Lundak has details on an effort to curb drivers from taking up those ADA parking spaces. Throughout the month of October, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office will be cracking down on accessible parking violations. You never know. You never know when somebody is going to need that space. On their social media, the Sheriff's Office says their community action team will be focusing on businesses, apartments, and recreational areas, making sure that those parking and accessible parking spaces have their placards visible on their rear view mirrors. Well, this is an important initiative because having the access is essential to some people to be able to maintain their independence and make it such that they don't have to rely on others to get where they need to be. Sharon Ohmberger is with Disability Rights Nebraska. She says when people without disabilities park in accessible parking spots, it hinders those who need them from reaching the same services and businesses as everyone else. When those spaces are used appropriately, we see much more inclusion in our daily lives, in places we work, places we go to school, places we go for entertainment. Sheriff Aaron Hansen agrees. He says those violators impact quality of life for people with disabilities. He tells Six News his office routinely receives complaints about accessible parking violations. He says, quote, handicap parking accessibility is vital to so many people in our community. Our community action team was designed to address these very types of quality of life issues, and we want to be responsive of our community. In Douglas County alone, there are nearly 60,000 people with disabilities. Omberger says no matter where you go, think twice about where you park. Be kind. Um, think about what if that were a friend or a family member or a close neighbor who needed that space. And again, the sheriff's office says complaints about accessible parking violations are constantly coming in and fines for parking in one of those spots without a disability placard could run you anywhere from $150 to $500. On your side in the newsroom, Marlo Lundak, 6 News. Marlo, thank